Imagine owning the same truck for the last few years. It's a good truck. It's been on the road that you contributed to with your taxes, and the truck is legally registered. Then one day you decide it's time to sell your truck. But instead of legally selling a piece of property that you've owned for the last few years and paid for with your own money, your local government says it cannot be sold or transferred to anyone else in any way and is no longer legal to even drive on the road. All because your local government has so much time and so many excessive resources not dedicated to real problems, but instead they're focusing on scrolling through vehicles for sale within their jurisdiction to find potential illegal modifications that they can ticket and profit from. Well, that's unfortunately what happened to one New Jersey Commons owner who is unfortunately being forced to crush his truck or return it to stock all over a few deleted emissions parts. So let's take a closer look at this story. Now, before getting deep into the story, I think it's worth noting why so many diesel trucks have deleted emissions components on them. This generally isn't done out of spite for the EPA or lack of care for the environment or disliking your local government or anything like that, almost always, diesel trucks are deleted or have the emissions component deleted or removed for one simple reason. And that's the fact that those components, those emissions components are literally the least reliable part of that diesel engine. Not only are they incredibly unreliable parts on the engine, but they're also very expensive to replace. If you want your diesel truck to be reliable, those parts often just flat out have to be removed. With that in mind, a massive amount of non-commercial diesel trucks on the road have deleted emissions components for this exact reasoning. And sure, it's not exactly legal on the federal level to tamper with emissions components. However, there are loads of counties, towns, and cities across the US that don't require vehicle emissions testing for registration. So it's generally pretty hard for law enforcement to even know about these deleted trucks. With that line of thought, a lot of diesel truck owners have absolutely no problem deleting the emissions components off of their truck to improve reliability, but also to reduce the cost of ownership. Those parts are incredibly expensive to replace. So if you just don't have them in the first place, you just save potentially tens of thousands of dollars over the lifetime of the vehicle. And most of these truck owners have no problem deleting these parts because the chances of actually getting caught with a deleted truck are very low, especially if you live somewhere where emissions testing is not required for registration. In fact, I could hop on Facebook Marketplace right now here in Phoenix, Arizona, and find dozens or probably hundreds of deleted diesel trucks for sale. But for the New Jersey Cummins owner in this story, when he went to sell his 2008 2500 Ram, he wasn't so lucky. This whole ordeal started in July this year when the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection reached out to the truck owner and gave him a 60 day window to return the truck to stock, which keep in mind would cost upwards of $10,000 or even more. Given the outrageous cost to return the truck to stock form, the owner just decided to deregister the truck and use it strictly for competition use at events such as sled pulling. And you'd think that would be enough. The truck is deregistered, it's no longer on the road, it's being used for competition use only off of the road, but unfortunately that still wasn't enough. The New Jersey DEP gave him a deadline line of September 25th to get the truck fixed or have it crushed. And keep in mind the owner of this truck claims that not a single New Jersey DEP representative has visited him or even seen the truck in person. They're going completely off of photos and videos that they obtained online, presumably on Facebook Marketplace where the truck was for sale. Quote, Mr. Sebold has informed the department that he intends to bring his truck to the scrapyard on September 16th and have it destroyed. Although the department has explained to Mr. Sebold on multiple occasions that the department would extend this 60 day deadline cited in compliance requirements to give him time to make the necessary repairs to the truck and return it to full New Jersey emissions compliance. These repairs would include returning the vehicle to its original certified emissions configuration. Unquote. And you might be thinking, okay, well, cool. Why not just leave the state? Like literally just move out of New Jersey or sell the truck to someone who's not in New Jersey to get around these problems. I mean, how can the state truly stop you from either just moving with your truck or selling it to somebody out of state? And uh, unfortunately, they're not gonna let him do that either. He's absolutely out of option. These next two screenshots come as emails between the New Jersey DEP and the owner of the truck. Quote, Per your request, this is a follow-up email to our conversation that took place on 8-17-22. As stated in the notice of violation you received on 7-25-22, your vehicle was identified as having its emissions systems tampered with and was offered for sale in violation of 727 subchapter 14.3 E2. As also stated in the NOV, under corrective actions, your vehicle needs to have the emission system returned to its original certified configuration within 60 days. You stated during our conversation that you are unwilling to make repairs to your vehicle. 
the only other option you have to come into compliance with the NOV and avoid occurring monetary penalties in this matter is to have the truck destroyed at a scrapyard. As I stated in our phone conversation, this is not my preferred option as the department is more interested in having your truck be emissions compliant than see it destroyed. But nevertheless, it's your property to handle as you see fit. Kind of funny how that last sentence specifically mentions that it's his property to do with as he pleases, except for, you know, deregistering and not using it on the road, using it only in competition, using it off road, just flat out not using it or selling it to somebody else, even out of the state. No, that's not an option. It's almost like the New Jersey DEP in this email is kind of trying to play the good guy here. They're trying to act like they are on his side when in fact they're overreaching and messing with this random guy's life over a couple of modifications on his truck. Quote, as I stated in a previous email, you have been informed on how to comply with the NOV numerous times. As far as giving the truck away, any transfer of the title is the same as a sale regardless of the price. And if a title transfer occurs, it would be considered another violation of 727 subchapter 14.3 E2. So that's it. This man is completely out of options. He either has to spend upwards of $10,000 having those emissions components put back on his truck, which presumably include the exhaust gas recirculation system and the diesel particulate filter, or have the truck crushed. There are literally no other options. He cannot deregister it and use it for off-road use. He can't use it strictly for competition use. He can't transfer it to somebody out of state. He can't even give the truck away. And since all this has happened with the state, the truck actually was completely crushed and destroyed on September 16th of 2022. And to call this massive government overreach would be an understatement. It's sad to see a local government pursuing citizens of their state and messing with their ability to sell or use their own vehicle over modifications to that vehicle. Honestly though, this isn't too surprising coming from New Jersey. This is the same place that has spent the last few years trying to destroy the Attila's gym in New Jersey because they refused to close their doors over COVID-19 mandates. Gotta say, it does not sound like a fun place to live. And a big shout out to thedrive.com for breaking on the story. They're the ones that gathered all this information and pretty much all the media that you see in this. So definitely go check out the full article on the story. I'll leave it linked down in the description below so you can go check it out yourself. And a word to anyone out there with a deleted diesel truck. Watch your back. Watch what you're posting online. Watch where you post your truck for sale because it's pretty clear now that some states, specifically New Jersey and presumably other states in the coming years, truly do not care about your safety or your well being. They will dedicate entire departments or workers on your tax dollar to mess with your life and your ability to sell your own truck or even use it on the road. So just be careful where you're posting your deleted truck stuff because they're coming for you. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to also drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this story and if you've heard anything similar with a state Department of Environmental Protection. I know the EPA has been cracking down on larger cases such as diesel shops or diesel tuners, but they generally haven't messed with the individual on this kind of level. So it's kind of scary to see a local government going after the individual rather than a big company or a tuner. Be sure to also get subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you guys in the next one.